love the sheer cheek tail jump chair trick trail chair trick trail mm-hmm I'm real articulate today let me tell you hey guys welcome back so I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and this was a pretty simple makeup week especially on my eyes like I pretty much wasn't doing much at all on my eyes so my favorites are mostly like cheek and some lip favorites but technically I do have an eye favorite well technically two eye favorites but they're like simple sort of things so yeah more kind of cheek and lip related favorites this week so let's get to it so on my eyes I was really just putting like some bronzer in my crease and then doing liner so these were my two liners I was using this week this is also part of the Laura Geller New York collection this is part of the trio of the downtown cools um, eyeliner trio so these two right here I was using this week I also really like the uptown chic those are more kind of like bronzy brown sort of liners these are more black liners so first off I have both of these on today this is the Laura Geller in incredible incredible <laughs> waterproof gel eyeliner pencil this is in Blackbird and this one this bigger one is the Kajal Longwear eyeliner and this is in deep black coal so what I do is I apply the coal one first and kind of smudge it out so it gets kind of like a softer sort of a look and then I apply this along my lash line and then just kind of like I use an angled brush to kind of like bring them together so it makes like a more defined line so where it really just kind of like darkens up the line it's still not fully defined like a liquid liner because this has been kind of softened out but this helps kind of like make it a little bit darker so a rich line but with a little bit of like a smudgy smokier um, sort of I don't even know outside line ish situation to it does that make sense versus a liquid liner that's just like a line this is kind of like a softer kind of a line but still rich and black I don't know if that makes sense but I was doing a black liner this week that's really the moral of the story so there are the black liners that I was using this week they're really nice and long wearing they glide on nicely they don't tug on your eyes this one is a little bit um, more of like an inky uh, this one's I don't know how to describe it it's more of a gel so this one drags less than this one this one doesn't drag at all but this is a thicker sort of formula so it is a little bit more work to move um, but it still isn't like dragging on your eyes it's because it's not a dry hard pencil liner hopefully that makes sense I'm real articulate today let me tell you For cheeks this week this was my standout blush this is the Laura Geller baked blush and brighten and this is in peach delight and actually even a couple days this week I just used my bronzer and then the highlighter I'm about to mention to you so some days I was just using bronzer and then the days that I did wear blush this is what um, I was really enjoying so yeah peach delight I love the baked blushes from Laura Geller they're some of my favorites they're just like I don't know they have this beautiful glow to them on the skin my hand looks all kinds of red because those liners are no joke and they're a little bit difficult to get off so my hand looks a little bit rough but hopefully you can still see the swatch there so it almost reminds me of um, just a wisp from Mac but this is way more peachy that one's a lot more like light and pink but it has just that beautiful glow to it so pretty so I feel like it looks a lot more glowy um, and bright on my hand in a swatch than it does on the cheeks on the cheeks it looks I apply it you know pretty lightly so it gives us just gorgeous subtle peachy youthful glow on the cheeks these blend like a dream they're so nice to work with every single one that I've gotten I've loved so if you've never tried the Laura Geller baked blushes they're amazing the hype is real they're gorgeous so yeah this one was um, a really fun one this week this kind of peachy youthful glowy blush so last week I mentioned a couple of the new wet n wild highlighters the mega glow highlighting powders and I mentioned two pink ones last week but this one was the one I was really loving this week this is the kind of goldeny one this is golden flower crown and I do have this on my cheekbones today I have this on the inner corners of my eyes it's just a gorgeous goldy gold highlight so it's not like a champagne -y gold really it's like a goldy gold is that such a thing a goldy gold it's just very gold 
versus light and champagne-y. Has this like peachy sort of a look to it. So pretty. So it's a little bit deeper. This is borderline too dark for me, but I can still pull it off. Any darker, I wouldn't be able to wear it. So if you are very porcelain complected or really fair, this may be too dark for you to wear as a highlighter. You might have to use it as an eyeshadow or something. But if you are, I would say, fair light to deeper skin tones, I think this would be really, really beautiful. So pretty. These are um, not the perfect formula. They're a little bit thicker, um, but I just kind of like buff them out slowly and I think they're really nice, especially for like $4. You can't go wrong. They're awesome. I still want the purple one. If you have the purple one, let me know how you like it. Do you like it? Is it pretty? Because I still kind of want that one to like round out my collection of these. Now on to lips. So first off, I've been trying out this product that I received through Octoly. This is from Clarins. This is the Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. And I picked out the shade 04 Candy. So this is what it says about it. This lip oil contains all the high shine benefits of a gloss with the soothing comfort of an oil. Each shade contains a blend of botanical oils to instantly soothe and nourish your lips day after day. The highly sensorial and lightweight texture never feels sticky. Lips look enhanced and plumped. Uh, shade 04 Candy has a unique formula which reacts to the pH of your lips, giving them a customized shade of pink for a natural high shine result. So that's why I picked this shade because I like that kind of like pH reaction. First off, the applicator. Reminds me a lot of the Milani oils. I do not own any of those to know for sure, but I'm pretty sure Ashley talked about those and showed the applicator, so I'm almost positive it looks like this. Um, this smells really good. Oh my goodness, it smells like fruity candy dessert, so I love the scent. I really like this color. Um, it starts out a very light, subtle pink, and it does deepen a little bit, but not as much as other pH lip products that I've tried. So I actually like that about it. It's It deepens a little bit um, deeper than this, but not by much. So it's more of that like natural sort of a pinky look, which I think is really pretty. It has that just like easy breezy makeup look, so it goes well with an easy eye look. So really pretty color. Something I've noticed about these though is I think they're a little bit sticky. So. I think they're kind of like a hybrid between a lip oil and a gloss that has a little bit of stickiness to it. So kind of like right in between. So you have the hydration of that lip oil, but then also you have a little bit more longevity because of that stickiness. So just know that about this. I, to me, like I know it says it really doesn't, you know, it says it never gets sticky or something like that. Where does it say? Uh, da, 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 da and texture never feels sticky. Lightweight texture never feels sticky. I think it's a little bit sticky. So just know if you're looking for a lip oil that doesn't feel sticky, I think this one is just a little bit. But if the thing you haven't liked about lip oils is that they go away so quickly, maybe try this one out because it has a little bit more of that longevity because of the stickiness. So I enjoyed it this week for just an easy makeup sort of a look. But I probably wouldn't go out and buy a bunch of shades, you know, in this line, um, just because I have a feeling it's, I don't know the price point on it, but I'm sure it's not drugstore prices. So I like this color, but I wouldn't go out and buy the whole range. I also wore my Kat Von D Study Kiss lipstick in Magic this week. I just love the packaging on these. They're so edgy and fun. Magic is one of my favorites that I have because this is just a beautiful pink and it's got like a little bit of like micro shimmer in it that makes it really fun. So pretty. So it's kind of like a rosy pink with some micro shimmer. You really probably can't see it, but it gives it this little bit of like a flash to it. Really, really pretty. So I think it has that kind of like neutral lip look to it but because it's that like rosy shade, it has a little bit of a statementy look too. So kind of that in between. It's one of those everyday colors I think you could wear to the office or whatever, um, but it still has a little bit more of a presence because it's not a nude and it's not like a pinky nude. It's more of that rosy color. So yeah, one of my favorites. I've mentioned it a lot and every time I wear it, I still love it. And they smell like creme brulee which is amazing. They smell really yummy. These are still some of my favorite lipsticks at Sephora. I think they're just really nice. They stick around on the lips a good amount of time. 
Love the packaging. I think they're great. And then lastly, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, I actually just applied a little bit more of the gloss so you can kind of see the gloss like freshly applied. I love these. I'm not sponsored by Pixie or anything like that. I've just been loving their stuff lately. Like their package they sent me that had the sheer cheek gels and these in them. Oh my goodness. I love the sheer cheek gel, gel cheer cheek gel, cheer cheek gels. Mm -hmm. The sheer cheek gels. I love those. And I love these too. And both products are a type of product that I'm typically not into, but I really like these. I think they just did them well. They did the cheek gels well, and they did these well. And I don't remember what these are called. So how helpful is that? I think they're like the, oh, something, something tense. I mean, they're called, it says a tint name on the end. So it's something tint and something gloss gel tint and fresh gloss something like that i don't know anyway i'll annotate it down below i'll list it for you in the description box okay so the color that i wore this week i think i just mentioned one of these last week but this color that i'm wearing right now that i've worn several times this week is beach tint on this side and then the gloss is fresh gloss so look at it in the thing and then look at it on my lips. I feel like it looks really different, like on than it looks in the container because that looks so dark, but it's not like that. So there's the tint side that is just a light tint of color. And then there is the gloss side that's just a really nice light kind of sheer gloss. So I'm gonna try to show you separately and then layered. So let me get these layers. So I don't know why I, I started to show you because I want to show you separated. Okay, so there's that. And then let me layer them. Normally I don't really like tints, but I like these. Okay, so the tint is like a, like a dark red but it's very like sheer and it's real liquidy. So you can kind of like build it up slowly. I would wear these with a liner. Like I noticed a little bit of feathering, like especially as like I tried to overline my top lip a little bit and I could see a little bit of feathering. So I kind of evened out my lip lines with a lip liner. So I would wear a lip liner, especially with a deeper color like this one. Um, but it's kind of this like deep red and you can just kind of like build up the stain and then you apply the gloss over it and it makes this kind of color in the middle. So like a really pretty warm red. Oh, I just love it. The gloss is not sticky. It does go away pretty quickly. It doesn't have a stick to be able to kind of like stick around like it's more of a, um, I don't know, a, an oily feeling gloss. So really hydrating, but it doesn't stick around a long time. So you might have to reapply the gloss, but the stain stays around. So I think it's just a fun lip product. I think it's a great one to throw in your purse. You've got options there to use them separately or together and they're just fun and they work well. So yeah, love these. I think they have a little bit of like a, a minty smell. Yeah, they have a mint scent to them. So just know if you don't like mint, they smell like mint. But if you do like mint, they smell like mint. <laughs> so yeah, that tint totally tinted, stained my hand there. So they are long wearing, the tint is. So, all right, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.